I'm Vin. I'm sorry. That's Lobby. And Salty and Chip. Oh, we're getting good at I that. I know we are. We're getting good at that. Well, we're getting it down. Uh, okay. I'm still mad. So. You are? Mm hmm. My gosh. So we'll get right to it. <laughs> this is Gojira. Now, inevitably, somebody's going to be like, hey, we got to do the same bands all the time. It's like. Vin works two a, jobs. A month he and a half. He's his other one, and he's frustrated with his other one. There's like a month and a half yeah. between the last Gojira song that we've done. Yeah. But inevitably, somebody's going to go, you've done yeah. three Gojira songs. Oh, yeah. 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 So, there you are. Uh, There's always somebody. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Okay. Nothing else to say. Let's do it. <laughs> Go. because we just got done shooting the other one that I have a crazy theory about this song. Really? Yeah. So we just got we just got done shooting um, the it was it's new now, the new disturbed song. Um what the heck was the name of it? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? So you wanna hear my what yeah, do you think I the do. song's about? I don't know what these bodies falling from the sky I don't know if it's well, I know in one of their other things, remember they were, the world was like not doing good and then they were sailing off on a whale. 
to some other place. Right, they're very environmentally so, conscious. So maybe it didn't go well, that's why there's bodies falling. I really don't know. Uh, well, this record came out June 2016, but that's that's. Not I mean, <clears throat> it, I I just got from it. It just seemed like kind of similar to the other one. Like stuff is going bad, and you have to change yourself so you can change the world. Well, what genocide do you think is going on? I don't know why in, bodies in 2016. Oh. Oh. Be body so time. far, I've only found two groups of people that are invoking the term genocide in our current cultural climate. What is it? Is it? Well, who, are, who who's saying that there's a genocide going on? Uh, Christians. What are we saying? That um, the abortion well, is genocide. What's interesting is there's a growing atheist movement. Of, there's a growing pro-life atheist movement. Happening. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like. Yeah. Dawkins well, there was a pro-life uh, feminist movement also. Well, yeah. There, there's always been a pro-life feminist movement though. Uh, what is really? it? Oh yeah. What is interesting though is that there is oh. a pro-life atheist movement happening. Yeah. Which is very interesting. Dawkins um, spoke out explicitly. I thought sure, feminists but... were usually not pro-life. No, that's not true. They're always like about women's bodies that's, and that's stuff. That's a certain group of feminists. Well, they're it's the not, loudest. Well, they're, they're not necessarily the loudest. They're the ones that are getting media attention. Cool. That's what I mean. So. I didn't mean I was going around recording people's But the, But the, the, um... Okay, so what, what? What I'm saying is, yeah, so one is p people who are against abortion. Yeah. Right? yeah. Who else? People talking about God? I don't know. What? The animals rights people. They use the term genocide. They do? Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> I, I guess I was unaware. What does the term genocide... Genocide is a mass killing of a certain group of people. People? Or a certain group of... Well, yeah. What I is mean, it? Technically, yeah, it would be people. Like a certain race or a certain religious ideology or whatever. Oh. Species side would probably be the 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 proper ter yeah. term, but yeah. but they use the term genocide because it's chock full of so much emotion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 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 here's my here's my and we just got done looking at we're talking about the vegan lady, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't think he's talking about abortion, but think about this: no other blood in me but mine. Oh. Right? Meaning, I don't eat meat. Yeah. Right? Hmm. And dead bodies followed from the sky, you know, birds. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like hunting? Yeah. And then he says, we're the ape with the vision of killing, which basically puts us as animals. So we're animals killing other animals. Right? Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? And a yeah. reign of shame that fills the minds because... You know, a mine is a place where you get, you know, gold and treasure or whatnot, and the, and the food industry is a billion dollar industry every year. It says something about gold at the very end. Can you scroll down? Well, it's in the in the chorus, it says, um, You're receiving the gold, the of, a gold of a better life. Yeah. When you open your eyes to genocide. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah so so instead of receiving the, the monetary gold of, of selling the meat and stuff like that, then you are receiving the gold of a better life. Right. By not eating. Right. And you change yourself. I think you're right, Bane. So I, I think that I don't know what the term still there is. You're so fucking smart. I don't know how that connects, but it's really unbelievable. Well, it's just because it's just because we it's this is like literally coming off the heels of the previous I, video. I don't care. If I wasn't sitting in the same freaking room as you, I would not believe that you didn't research this and figure all this stuff out first. I'd be like, right, yeah, that guy just, he just gets those lyrics like that. Right. I would not believe it. Well, we usually get criti we get criticized a lot for not researching lyrics. It happens would, a lot. Would you just please oh, yeah, just but you know research? What? Honest, to be honest with you, every time that I see that, I disregard them. Well, you, I... You read it and you, I just disregard Well, I try it. to explain to them that we don't research on purpose That's so we can point. get a yeah. more raw reaction. Yeah. You know, but I, I think people assume that People don't want to give their opinions unless they're absolutely right because mm -hmm. it's a hit to their ego when they get corrected. It doesn't bother me. I mean, if they correct us, they correct us, yeah. and it's something we didn't know and we yeah. just learned. You can't lose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that that's what he's saying. I think 
I think you're probably I right. He's talking about. I think that's what he's talking about. You know, your heart is pounding in the brain as they drag you naked in the mud, a, de a devil's dancing in the rain. How could you fall so well? That's right yeah, from the perspective of the animal. You know, like, you know, they're, they're dragging you basically to the slaughter. Your heart is pounding in your brain. Yep. You know. Yep. No, we will never let go. A devil's dancing in the rain. Let us watch them die. And then how could you fall so low, meaning the people that are doing that to the animals? Right. I really think we need to have a fireside on this because veganism is not a, a topic that I really countenanced at all as far as like holding it as a sustainable position or really looking at the moral implications of, of eating meat. And part of that has to do with the fact that it's like there's all this jihad over animals but we're, we're, we're willing to say that we are killing homo sapiens and we're okay with that. Right. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you know, no, no disrespect. Shout out to the big homie, but I, I'm, you know, we have an on-video conversation with an actual person that is dedicated to the field of science, and he's saying, yes, they're Homo sapiens yeah. that we're killing. Yeah, and and so it's hard for it was it's very hard, and this is like being self-aware about bias. It's like I said about it earlier. It's hard for me to take vegan arguments seriously when I hear people talk about human beings and being disposable. But that doesn't make it right. Does it, I know. You, you can't no. just dismiss one argument because other people are making a, a nightmarishly horrific moral statement that I don't think they understand the implications of. Yeah. You know, yeah. the minute that you say, the minute that you say that there are some homo sapiens that are open for killing. Yep. You, you open up a serious Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. It would be great if we all said, no, no homo sapiens are open for killing. Mm -hmm. That would be very helpful. Yep. Um, and it's like we can't learn. We don't, we don't learn from, from previous. From past we don't, generations. We don't, learn, yeah. we don't learn lessons at all. Yep. It's insane. And you just have to keep doing well, it I backwards. Think that, I think that what happens a lot of times is the same thing that you know I find myself doing or I see the kids doing is that when there's actually something that we've done that's like, oh, shoot, shoot, we shouldn't have done that. Like, instead of just owning it, we, we like, oh, that's not our fault, or we didn't, you know, we didn't mean it that way, or there's like some excuse. So I don't think that we look at, you know, what we did, you know, what was done to the Jews as what's happening to the babies, or what happened during the time. So I, I don't think that we, we say, wait a minute, we named them Untermenschen, so that way that we could call them something else and not look at them as they were an actual human being. Oh. Wait, we call black people something else. Oh, wait, we're calling the baby a fetus. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that people are making all those connections. And then, you know what I mean? Like, right. I think that we just make excuses to say we're not like them. Like, we can judge those fucking Nazis. Yeah. You judge you know? the Nazis. And, and you I'm going to judge those people in the South, those the, racist the, the bastards. South. Yeah, right. Okay, so you're an ageist. Yeah. The racism is bad, but ageism is okay. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, and I don't think it's right, but I think that that's what's happening. I think well, that we just don't own... We, we well, just, I say this over and over again. Jordan Peterson makes the argument constantly, if you were in Nazi Germany, that numbers say you'd most likely be a Nazi. Yep. That's why you have to use lines like, open your eyes to the genocide. Because... Yep. Why, you know, art imitates life. Why did we have artists that are saying, open your eyes to a genocide? It's because genocides take place among a generally blind populace to what is happening. And and so like sometimes Intentionally like, blind or well, I just don't think sometimes people know what they're saying. So I said, okay, so I what think... we're killing is a Homo sapien, yes. So finish the sentence after me. It is okay to kill a Homo sapien when. Yeah. It is okay to kill a human a defenseless human being when. Like, say it yeah. out loud. Yeah. You know, and then people, you know, I was in that email conversation with that guy, and I said, I, I put the sentence out there, and I said, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. And he said, he refused to answer the question. He's like, yeah. I can't answer that question yeah. like that. You're, you're, you're making an unfair question. Yeah. No. No. Nope. <laughs> no, that's the question. Is that what we're talking about here? I think that, you know, like, I, you've seen the picture when um, the people are being, like, walked through the concentration camps where they were gassing the Jews, and as they're, like they're walking up everybody's happy go lucky you know right. like they're going to a freaking museum 
and then when they're leaving people are like covering their faces like they're horrified and stuff like that and a lot of people said we had no idea that this is going on and I don't believe that they had no idea you saw your Jewish neighbors being carted off and, and they never saw, returned they never came back you saw smoke that smelt like bodies going up constantly and people are constantly going to this camp nobody's coming out you couldn't have been completely ignorant to what was going on there you may have blinded yourself so that way you wouldn't actually see it and I think that the same thing honest to goodness I really believe that 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 when people I feel like people are not being honest with themselves and honest with each other when we talk about the abortion thing and I think that people have reasons for that you know I think that there's been a lot of abortions in our country and so because of that like to, to admit that it's wrong and, or to admit that it was actually a, a child, like, we have to own a lot. We, are, we all are responsible for it because we all have allowed sure. this to go on for so long. You know, some of us have driven family members there. Some of us have, you know, encouraged somebody to get an abortion because of the situation they're in. Some of us have made choices to have it done because we can't live with you know, the decisions that we've made. There's so many people, we, we all have so much blood on our hands. It's true. So because of that, we wanna pretend, you know, we wanna see it differently than what's the actual facts. And I really believe, and I've said this a bunch of times, that further further generations from us, like our, our hopefully it's our, our children, but maybe it's our great-great-grandchildren, they're gonna look back and I, and, I, and I feel like they're gonna be ashamed of us. I just think, I just think, if you just do pure math, I just think if you do pure mathematics and say, if you say that certain homo sapiens, certain human beings are open for killing, mm -hmm. then what mathematically do you, in your epistemology, in your in your ability to connect logical sequences, why are you in, even going to care in, about? That? In what way are you going to argue to yourself that you would have stood up for the Jews? Oh, well, yeah, right, because. If you, st I mean, it, and like I said, there, there, there is a growing atheist pro, pro, pro life movement, which I think is is extremely fascinating. I do too. Actually. Because, for the most part, shout out to the Roman Catholics. I mean, the Roman Catholic Church has some serious flaws, but I think that they have been the bedrock of initiating the pro life movement in America I in the agree Western with world. That, yeah. And evangelicals have kind of jumped on the bandwagon, but now you see yeah. even atheists saying. I have a family you know, member that stood by himself for so long to just, you know, hold out a sign and talk to people and you know what I mean? Like he did he did what he could with, you know, where he was at and stuff like that and you know. So so it, it, it's 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 extremely fascinating to me that you have atheists that are that are doing this, and you know, kudos to them because yeah. they're. <laughs> That's so interesting. I would love to talk to one of them. We'll probably, you know, what we're gonna do? What? We're probably gonna have a fireside on this topic, extremely volatile Yikes. topic, and I'm gonna find one of these guys wow. and bring him online. Yeah. And yeah. um and have him have him or her. It I was, was well, actually it was a woman. The, the two that I saw, there's two really big ones on Facebook right now. Yep. And they're females. Yep. Um, who are atheists, one of which is... I, honestly, I think that it, it would be better it'd be for more you powerful. to find a woman. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And sh sh she's had one herself. And so it's like, I mean, you know, people, people, <laughs> are, try to, people are trying to say like... <laughs> people are trying to isolate this issue to only evangelicals. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not true anymore. Like... Mm -hmm. So, so I, I definitely want to have that conversation, and I want to have her online, and then, mm -hmm. you know, we have a fireside and people call in. Yeah. Right? But, like, what really makes you think that you would have stood up for Jews, which, you know, in Nazi Germany, which yeah. which, which came with the death penalty, yeah. basically. Yeah, because... Versus, versus standing up for these for these kids, which carries no penalty no other than... No penalty. Other than people will unsubscribe for your channel or say yeah. mean shit about you in the comment section. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, those are the risks you run, but you, you always, you know, we always talk about we gotta be able to look ourselves in the mirror. Yeah. We're not gonna compromise who we are as people. You know, and if you think we're, if you think we're crazy, you know, using the firesides, we talk for two, two and a half hours, call up, yeah, explain like, to me how I'm crazy. That I think that it's a, uh, we're in an existential crisis if we're talking about uh, certain homo sapiens being open for killing. But the point here is though, so I, 
that's why I struggle with taking veganism seriously. And that's why I struggle with people like being so, like, crying over animals. Because yeah. it's like... Yeah. Hello? No, no, I totally like, see what you're saying. Like, even from a Darwinian saying. perspective, like, these are our species. Yeah. You don't give a fuck about them. Yeah. But the animals, they're the ones that you're worried about. So, so I've, for years, I haven't even, like... Even because usually I'll, I can separate them, so usually I will process something even if I disagree with it, uh -huh. like Satanism or yeah. Nazism. Or, like, I've had a couple of Nazis reach out to me and say, That Nazi kid you talk to, like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Here's what real Nazism is. And so I'm like, Okay, well, let me hear what this guy has mm -hmm. to say. And you know, I don't know when we're gonna publish that video, um, or if YouTube's even gonna block it, but you know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Because um, I'm still debating the, the responsibility, the ramifications of, of giving. You know that type of thing, like a a, uh, a, form, a platform. A platform, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, trying to make it, you know, trying to recast Nazism in, in, in some sort. But but so what I'm saying is, I'm usually like, yeah. I'm never unbiased because I'm always biased. Yep. But I'm like, okay, let me put this thing in my head and and, and like turn it around and see if I could. I've never done that with veganism mm. Un until now. I'm like. Mm -hmm. But you, you've been able to do that. Yeah, very easily. I can, I can separate the two. I can say, it's wrong that we're killing babies, but it's wrong. But see, you know what's weird is um, I think sometimes I even think about the animals more than I think about the babies because the animal thing is right in my face. Like I've said it before, like when I get the meat and the, the chicken's leg is broken, I feel very sick to my stomach because that means what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, or it's like really bruised up. And I've seen it, you know, we eat meat every single day, so I've seen it a significant amount of times, and that's upsetting to me. And then when I see the chickens all stuffed in the, the backs of those trucks and stuff, and then, you know, I have, you know, I've had friends that have said, you need to look at these documentaries, and I've started them, and I literally cannot finish them. And what's weird is that I have, I have seen, you know, um, you know, documentaries and, like, even ultrasounds of them, like, aborting children, like, they, they have, you know, it's called the silent scream and you see like the baby yell out. And I've seen that that sort of stuff and I don't know if that's because like, you know, obviously I've, cr I've grown up in a pro-life um, circle. So for some reason, the animal thing, like the baby thing was very upsetting. It was upsetting to me, but the animal thing was, was I think more upsetting to me because, um, maybe because it dragged on for so long I don't know. I know that that's really weird. Even what do you mean? Like, um, because I've actually never really seen one of these documentaries on. Yeah. What do you mean it drags on? No, the the animal ones. Yeah. What do you mean it drags on? It drags on because like like I I started telling you about it, but you were like, don't I don't want to hear about it. Like they they dragged this goat by his hind legs and they dragged him and then the guy was picking him up and slamming him and picking him up and slamming him and, sl and just abusing the hell out of this animal over and why over why were they doing that and then they were kicking i don't know why the fuck men do what they do at that job place it doesn't make any sense but you it's very easy to find these documentaries but there was no, I'm saying men because, well, first of all, you know, sometimes I have a very big problem with men, but there was no women there. Every time I've seen these documentaries, it's always men. And I feel like that they're so they fucking abuse. I think they're just abusive people. And instead of just, you know, killing the animal, they make this, like, actually in that video, I think all they were doing was shearing, actually, I think it was sheep. And I think they were just trying to get the wool it's off the sheep. interesting as they drag you naked in the mud, you know, like, just what you were saying. And they, there was like this shoot, I, I, I literally, I don't even know what, they, he ended up picking up this thing and he just shoved it down the shoot. It was so abusive then. It was so, it was just so abusive. And, and I, and the, 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 the abortion thing, it was, it was terrible, but it wasn't like, it didn't go on for so long. Like, it was like, like you saw the baby try to push away. And then um, you saw the baby's mouth That's like open. Up, when did they? When the hell were you? I don't want to hear about that either. But anyway, that. Oh my, but that was that, that wasn't that long. People and, are mad about the flood. Good night. <sighs> yeah, but so there. So that's just the. So somebody these gave me videos. They're all over the place. It's okay. not. It's not. I need. I need. Hard a, I need like the top three credible documents. You know, there was one. Um, I, I guess. I, 
there was one documentary, those guys on the Joe Rogan show, I forgot what they were, but they were vegans. But they were like... Okay, you know what? I think I figured it out. I think the reason the animal thing bothers me is because I'm taking part in it because I freaking eat that meat every day. Oh, okay. But I'm not going... I, I you haven't would never participated. Part I have not participated in an abortion in any way, shape, or fashion. And right. so I think that I can feel like I've actually done things to prevent that from happening. Right. Where the animal thing, I take part in it. And I try to do And you like feel a, actual guilt about I it. I do. I feel terrible about it. I can't think about it too much because it bothers me a lot. But I try to do the, um, like, you know, because I don't think that we should do no, like, I don't think that there should be no me. I just think that when we handle it, we should handle these animals, like, and I use the word humane. And I remember you laughed at me when I used the word humane because you were like, well, that's a, hu that's a word meaning for humans. Well, that was an angry laugh. Yeah. Because... We don't give a fuck about treating these kids humanely. Yeah, well, I do give a fuck um, about. Yeah, I know, I know. But, yeah. but like, so. I'm listening. I'm, 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 I'm processing what you're so saying. So I feel like I'm taking part. I'm buying the cheapest meat because I have a family and I'm trying to run a budget. You know, and I think to myself, you know, maybe when we get like, you know, if the if the YouTube thing blows up and stuff like that, like maybe we would be able to you know, be more like whatever. But then I feel like, well, why couldn't I have done that? I don't know. I, I just go around. But anyway, like I did that for a while where I would make sure that I like researched where I was buying my meats from and my eggs and stuff and made sure that it was like, you know, chickens that were like, they have a, like they can run around free range. It wasn't like pinning them up and like, you know, making, we're all the only, the only reason that they're alive is to lay eggs and barely move or, you know, like the treatment of these animals. So I was buying like, like meat that was like that, but it's very expensive to eat like that. But I, I remember thinking to myself, if every single person that claimed to be a Christian would only buy the expensive, it would, it would make that price would go down. And then the other places, like, then I saw this other, like, documentary where it was, I think it was Purdue Chicken. Um, like, they showed all these little baby chickens, and they were, like, they were moving, and they were breaking, because... I don't know what they're what doing. Their their bodies, like as they were moving, like they were just breaking, like they couldn't. They would like walk, and then legs would break and stuff because they're not feeding them the nutrition that they need. The only thing that they're trying to do is get them fat so they can slaughter them and we can eat them. And I get like it's not healthy for us to eat that and like like you know the nutritional value and blah. That's not, not the, what bothers me. Well, if you're eating an animal that hasn't been fed properly and it's just been fattened on certain chemicals, like they inject them with things, some of them and stuff like that. Like I, I get it. If you're eating that, like it's not healthy for you as a person, but you made that fucking choice. But I feel like that animal, like how are you gonna abuse the hell out of that thing and then like I, it's just wrong. It's wrong, and I participate in it. Because I eat meat. Never had this conversation at this level with you before. Well, I feel very strongly by I keep it to myself. I've talked to you a little bit about it, but but I like wasn't as like I didn't Honest express about myself as much. Yeah, this was years ago. Like I've been I felt like this for a very long time. And so what I do is I put it out of my head because I'm like I can't. That's like a decision that you have to, well, honestly, like, I, well, you don't have to, but it's cool if you make a decision like that as a family, where you say, you know what, we're all, because everybody has to sacrifice to do that, because you're not going to eat as much meat as you were eating, you're going to, you're going to reduce it, and then, because that's how you're going to cut the cost, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. It's and a, honestly, if I get my mind all on that, and I'm like eat, and then you guys are all consuming all of this abused meat beside me, that I, how am I going to enjoy my meal? I have to put the whole thing out of my head and go into it blind. It's terrible, and I'm ashamed to even say it. To be honest with you, I'm very ashamed. No, you ashamed to say what? I'm sorry. That that I just put it out of my head, even though I know that that's happening. I feel like as a Christian, I shouldn't be like that. Like, like God, when God made us, he said for, we were supposed to take care of the animals. That's not taking care of the animals. And like all the people that I've been surrounded with have not been concerned about those animals. I've been surrounded by, you know, religious people all of my life. The only person was that one, one girl. She's the only one that was like very concerned about the animals. Yeah. 
other than her, you know, and she would try to present me with the information and I would just like, I pushed it off. I already knew the information, but I didn't want to, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't. I'm telling you, you watch that documentary. Yeah, but is the documentary like accurate or are they just taking the fringe worst of the worst? You see well, what I'm saying? I mean, like the chicken was Purdue chicken. I right. mean, yeah. Did Purdue have a statement and I say? I don't. I don't know, honey. I did, you would be better because I don't. I don't know how to really research stuff like that. Like to know. Maybe you would look into it. And maybe it wouldn't even be Purdue after all. I really don't know. Like I'm talking about it, but. I know that I've seen enough of these videos to know and fucking you just drive down the road, honey, and you'll see that tractor trailer truck. I see it all the time. I've seen it multiple times in my life. The chickens are in about this much space and they're packed in there and their feathers are poking out the side and they're traveling them like that. That there's I guess they're traveling them. I don't know where they're traveling them to, but they're packed all in there like that. And I feel like that's wow. It's, you know, back in the day where you owned a farm, you know, and your chickens ran around and when it was time, you killed the chicken and you fed your meal. You know what I mean? So but that you'd be okay with. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I, like I said before, I want it, I want it to be like, you know, like, like the Indians did, or I'm pretty sure the Muslims as well. Like there's a prayer that they do, you know, when they, cause they eat goat, I think, you know, like when they, when they kill the goat, it's, it's a ceremony for them. Like it's not, but because you put, you've got to pour some meaning into that. So that way it's not just, just death, 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 death. You understand that, you know what, like this death is happening. And I, and I'm saying like, like if somebody is vegan, like I think that that's great. Like I, I wouldn't even frown down upon that at all. You know what I mean? But like I think that if somebody is like, no, they want me incorporated into their diet, and that's something that they enjoy. Like God did say that He gave us the animals for 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 me after the flood. So. Well, as you're talking, I'm I'm also thinking about the post millennial implications of this whole thing. Yeah, would it reverse back to no meat? You mean? Yeah. Well. The other thing is I want to talk to like an actual legitimate nutritionist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and you say, know what? They all say different things. I mean. Well, I don't think they all say different things. Like my, I want to actually talk to one who's actually Yes, I know. I used to talk to nutritionalists when I was a vegetarian and when I was like coming that's what off, they did? That was school? their job. That was their actual job. Like locally? No, Brunswick. Well, yeah, locally, so yeah. And what were they like, saying? It depends on, like, if if you go to one that's, like, pro, like, like a vegan lifestyle, like, they're going to tell you, like, this is, you know, you can... And I think that you can do it, but, you ha but there's stuff that you have to eat that's just not... You know, you have to be very balanced with it. Part of, my, part of my skepticism of veganism is, like, if it's not exportable to the whole planet... Yeah. Like if you have to have a certain, if you have to be in a certain economic strata to make it work, I feel like, okay, that's an indicator that then. Well, I don't think that you have to be in a certain economic strata. I think the reason. So could a person that, in no, India no, no, no. afford a vegan diet? I think diet? the reason that you have to be in a certain economic strata now is because it's, it's in such the minority. And I don't even know, like, I feel like, well, I don't know much about people in other countries and what they eat. I thought that they don't even really have that much meat because meat is expensive. That's so I point. thought a vegan lifestyle is more natural to the majority of the world than a meat eating lifestyle. I don't know. I'm very ignorant about this topic. Well, we need to talk to somebody who actually knows. Yeah. What? I say, yeah. No, no, I, I it, it's so fraught with so much, you know, Political and emotional. I'm. I'm. I fear I'm not going to be able to get actual. Oh, I know. Actual facts. You know, like. I know. You know, Rogan has. You know. Those guys come on the the vegan guys, and then. You know their documentary. I guess is very convincing. I gotta find that clip. Yeah. And then a week later, he had some other guy, and the guy completely debunked everything that those guys said. Yeah. And then you had Peterson saying he cured his whatever with an all meat diet. All meat? Yeah, he went on an all meat diet and he cured whatever. Of course, it was Peterson. But then there's another doctor who's a nutritionist and he went on an all meat diet and he lost like 50. So it's like it's just this weird. Well, it's hard. It's hard to figure out like 
who's saying what. The only thing that I know is like when I hear what you're describing about the chickens and the, and the breaking legs or what they're doing to the goat, um, you know, it, 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 I always talk about that story where, you know, the guy's on the donkey and he's beating the hell out of the donkey and then God gives, gives the donkey the ability to speak and then yeah. Jesus showed up and tells the guy, the donkey saw me with my drawn sword and so he she stopped to save your life, but if she would have kept going, I'd have killed you and spared her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, because he was a cruel bastard, he was a cruel yeah. motherfucker, and, yeah. and got addressed. Yeah. And and then there's that proverb about like you're a righteous man cares for his beast. Yeah. And then there's you know obviously Jonah, right. where God God spared an entire city for destruction. One because there were people who didn't know there were right people hand. who didn't know their right hand from their left, and, and also, also much cattle. cattle. Mm-hmm. So it's like, so there's definitely a biblical paradigm for caring for animals, but there's also obviously a biblical paradigm for eating animals. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's crazy because in Romans, what is it, 12, where Paul says, somebody's conviction lets them eat meat, mm-hmm. another man's conviction makes them eat only vegetables. Don't judge each other right. for that. Right. But, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying if so the person wants to eat the meat, I, I don't have a problem, but I do have a problem with the way like that's what i'm saying like well, the Paul's, way right. i don't i don't think that paul would have been good with abusing the hell out of the animal right I, paul's audience didn't have a a uh, systemic industry of uh, animal abuse and you know monsanto and, and i wonder shit. to myself like may, maybe the industry the meat industry is making the minds of men sick and I say men? mankind you mean I mean mankind. mankind but i say men but i mean mankind it's starting to sound like that vegan lady what do you mean? That if you have a job where you're all day long, you're just ending life, ending life, ending life, ending life. It's not like you have a farm where you're going to care for your animal sure. and your animal, your your sheep is going to give you wool for your, and you're going to wear that and you're going to care for that because you want your animal to survive. And there's like this, this relationship that they had with their animals, you know, and when they had to kill them, they weren't all happy about it. They were like, they had some sort of a relationship with that animal. It's just like when you work a garden and you've got those pea pods on your table and you friggin' work the soil for those and you and you weeded them, like you have a different relationship that it was in that book too, Rapes of, Grapes of Wrath. He said, man has a different, has a different relationship with the bread that he eats when he actually worked his hands in that soil to bring that grain forward. And I think that, that when you had a farm, it had that different feel about it. And so the killing just wasn't scentless. But I think that when you work in an industry, which that's your job, and it's just killing, 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 you lose you, you, you lose the feeling that you should feel when you, we shouldn't be happy about death. Never we should we be happy about death. And I think that when you get to the point where like, you're not, there's no like thankfulness, you know, for it and understanding that, you know, like this isn't, you know what I'm saying? I just think that maybe that it makes, maybe it like it makes for a mind, maybe your mind isn't, maybe a human being is not meant to be in that as an industry. Oh, you mean the people that work in that industry? Right. Maybe it makes their mind sick. Maybe it makes them more more violent person. I don't know. Like, how can well, you? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen these documentaries. So wait till you see it, baby. Mm-hmm. I don't want to like broad brush all the people in that industry and say that they're all crazy. Because I don't believe that. Even if that's your job, that the the vast majority of people in that industry are doing that to goats and shit. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't. Yeah, you, I know you, it's you happening like, often enough. You think where, there's millions of people like slamming goats? No, because I like that honestly, and, because I think it's exhausting too. Your your day would be very long if you exerted well, all yeah. that energy into it. But I do think that there's a lot of mistreatment that happens with the animals, and I think that it's it's how is it that you know? Of course, the irony of all this is that if you're really just an ape, yeah. What does it matter? What's the point? Like, you don't watch the Discovery Channel where the lion is chasing down a gazelle and ripping him to shreds and saying, that lion is fucked up. Yeah. No you blood in bad. my body but mine. I mean, you yeah. feel bad for the gazelle, but you're yeah, like, you're hey, right. man, that's, that's nature. A, that's a so if we're just, a- we're just apes, what the, what the fuck is the problem? That's true. I think that there's an understanding there. We're apex predators, man. What's yeah. the problem? Hmm. That's a good point, Vin. Vin for the win. World views. No, I mean it's very, very challenging for sure. For I sure, agree. I, I think, I think that I, that's been a very 
major blind spot for me as far as like I'm not saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna convert to veganism at all but I do think it's a blind spot that because the same people that are usually crying their eyes out about you know baby chickens don't give a fuck about baby human beings right I usually I usually just like disregard the argument wholesale right. but it could be that we should care about we should cry for baby chickens and cry more for baby humans yes yeah you know, but but these people, I agree with that. these people can't make an ontological distinction mm -hmm. between, yep. you know. So no, it's 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 challenging for sure. It's challenging for sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, I would much rather be wrong about the animals species than the species side than genocide. I totally agree. There's a lot more at stake. Yeah. Existentially. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking, I would agree with you. Right. But oh, oh you know. I'd much rather be wrong on that one than, than on the human one, mm -hmm. but the best possible world is to not be wrong on either one of them. Right. It's to be right on both of them, and I, I you know, there's a lot of math and theology and, and conversations that with, with, with people that are trained in this field mm -hmm. that I, we need to have. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some villagers who could get us some, some good yeah. resources. God almighty, right? this is a good song. Yeah, I feel like that, um, and this is this might be a huge stereotype, but I would like have this assumption that people in the metal community wouldn't be wanting to be vegan or concerned really? or something like that. Yeah. See, I would have the opposite assumption. Really? Well, I mean, have you ever met a group of more passionate, compassionate people than metalheads? No, I haven't. I just wouldn't think that that. So I I, I think. You got a generation of people who. Told, I am very interested. You have in a generation of people who told they were just animals, mm -hmm. and then you have a generation of people who've been who've constantly been fed a stream of devaluing human beings. Mm -hmm. They're misanthropic. They hate human beings. They hate human beings, but they still are in the image of God. So they channel their love somewhere. They channel it to their animals. How many of them have pets that they love? They 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 they, 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 right. they put it they put our kid in front of a truck before they'd let one of their their cats you know bite yep. the bullet. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's like I yeah. Look at that 100% vegan. Look at that commercial. Yep. I'm telling you, this song is about. Right. That's insane. Yep. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, this is probably the most challenging review we've ever done. For me, pers personal, because I'm usually very kind of, oh, this is this worldview, and this is that yeah. worldview, and this is the inconsistency yeah. here and there, and, and and this one is like, whoa, this is a blind spot, mm -hmm. and it's, it's really got to be seriously considered. And now there's, there's a lot of work that veganism has to surmount in my head. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna pretend, oh yeah, I've got this totally objective view. No, but at the same time, it's like. Yeah, I'm, I'd, I'd be much easier to convert as as far as like the, the mental we need to have a We need to have a vegan fireside chat, but I need, in, I, I need, how do I, we need intellectual, compelling argumentation. We need educated, people that are educated in this department to call in. Yeah, and, and people that are informed. I, in this you don't department. need to like go to 15 years of school. I, when no. I say educated, I just mean don't, you know, like when I was having the abortion discussion with Alec, I said, Alec, what are we, what yeah. are we killing? Mm -hmm. I said it's a Homo sapien, right? Yes. Okay. And he paused for a little bit. Right. But he ended up saying it was a Homo sapien. I, I didn't go crazy and say you're a Nazi or this or that. <laughs> right. I said, okay, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, so like. We're having the vegan discussion. Don't get all, don't get all like, I, I need to be able to think this stuff through if it's important to you. I need to be able to think it through. Um, so yeah, and it's not just me. I mean, it's for, it's story too, and it's other people in the community who might be like, well shit, you know? What do you give the song? Oh, I'm, you know what? I was gonna give it like an eight, but I think I'm gonna give it a 10 because of the discussion. I think it really opened up a good discussion. It was a six and a half for me, but I definitely think the discussion raised it up about, about it's an eight and a half for me. Um, it's a very emotion packed discussion for me. So. Yeah, I'm proud of you for, uh, you know, 
You put it out there. Yeah, but I hate putting it out there because then I feel like a hypocrite if I don't That's all do part anything of it. about it. Everybody you know is a hypocrite. Nobody lives completely yeah. consistent with their. With their no, my hypocrisy is out to thousands of people. Well, and the, and that's how you help people. That's mm -hmm. how you help people be honest with themselves. Yeah. You know, like people can be honest with themselves, and if not, they can judge you. And if you're as bad as they say you are, Jesus died for your sins. So. No, I don't. Honestly, I don't care about people judging me. I just you like, your own I self care about judgment. my own self judgment. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you judge yourself, Jesus died for your sins, and God's greater than our hearts. <laughs> right? This is the confidence we have to approach him when our hearts condemn us. Yeah. And God knows everything and he's greater than our hearts. That's first John. Mm -hmm. There you are. Alright. Eight and a half, would you give it a ten? Well, I give it a ten because of the discussion, but like it's an important discussion, yeah, much all. Yeah. In like I'd probably give it an eight. So you decide. You want it to be an eight, give it an eight. If you want it to be a ten, make it a ten. <laughs> well Kai does our, our averages, so. Alright. Been out. Sorry out. Gone.